Rich Palm here again. Yeah, I'm the click magnetic reader guy. Yeah, stylish but functional too. Anyway, I'm doing a what's in my bag. Okay, I'm a pro photographer. I shoot weddings. I do portraits. I do events. I do children. I love the children. Anyway, you've seen that. Um, got a new one. What's in my bag? Okay, my bag is, oh, it's a low pro vortex. 200 AW, which stands for all weather, and it's a great bag, fits everything I need, uh, I mean pretty much everything I need, and uh, the only problem is I got no wheels, I need wheels because I'm too goddamn old to, to carry all this crap, anyway, I wanted to show you what's in my bag, let me take these stupid things, you know, I'll put them right there, because I always tell you, that's where your glasses are, anyway, uh, what's in my bag, hey! Right there, that's the one you want. Okay, I'm a Nikon guy, not a Canon guy, Nikon guy, right there, D700. And it's got on it a uh, 50 millimeter 1.4. Okay, it's not the new 1.4, but you know, it's the old one. And it's still great. And it's my uh, go-to combination when I want sharp, beautiful 1.4 aperture photography. It's great. Anyway, the D700 outstanding low light performance. I mean, shoot at ISO 6400, it works great and it, it, it's usable. And uh, my next uh, body and uh, my second, because I'm a pro, you know, I said I'm a pro, I shoot weddings and things, you gotta have two. And you know, if your wife doesn't understand, I'm sorry, you just gotta have them. Anyway, this is my D300, not the D300S, just regular D300, but it is uh, still great camera. No video, I would like video, but uh, that's okay. Anyway, right here, D300, and that's a crop sensor, DX, and uh, it's a... God damn it. Okay, the camera fell off the tripod. How unprofessional is that? Anyway, let's stick it back up there. Okay. <laughs> Back with you, Rich Bow Photography. Back with you. D300, 70 to 200, 2.8 version uh, VR1. So it's the older one, but still works great. And I've got a little battery grip on here, which is an icon, but I hear the aftermarkets work great. So I recommend, you know, having the um, D300 with the uh, sports photography because it's got that crop factor and uh, you get that extra reach. You know, this is the equivalent to, no, no, I put a 1.4 teleconverter on it, which works great. And that little, little teleconverter is right here. And that's the one I'd recommend. I don't recommend 1.7 or 2.0. It just slows you down and it uh, doesn't focus as well. But uh, the 1.4, you will never know you have it on. It is so sharp and sweet and it's a great combination. Um, I put this on and uh, I go shoot sports. If I want to shoot portraits, if I want to shoot something really important, D700, so that's what I got. Next thing up is the uh, fabulous, oh darling, it's fabulous, uh, little uh, 70, uh, 24 to 70 as I uh, lose the uh, cap anyway, don't worry about that, I'm filming, there you go, it's, uh, 24 to 70, 2.8, Nice lens. So that with the 70 to 200 is a great combination for weddings, events. That's uh, pretty much all you need. I'm shooting a uh, big party tonight. All I'm going to have on is this 24 to 70. I mean, I don't really need anything else. It's great. Covers all the bases. Okay, you've seen the uh, teleconverter. Another one, a little fun lens. I have the uh, 10, I'm sorry, 10.5 millimeter fisheye which is uh, really, uh, you know, it's a specific lens. It's unique and it's uh, great for super wide angle. A uh, couple of shots for a wedding, great to get. I use it a lot for skateboarding and snowboarding and getting right up there. I mean, right in there. And uh, you get this great, great aspect and, uh, and people love it. So uh, fisheye, use it uh, sparingly. Don't use it all the time, but uh, use it. And uh, my last lens, so I've got a couple of more, but these are all I'm going to talk about. Really, it's uh, a fabulous lens. Uh, it's the uh, 16 to 35, the new, uh, fairly new lens from Nikon, and uh, it's an f/4. Uh, you know, for for wide uh, on a on a uh, full frame sensor like the D700, it's a great lens, and uh, I recommend it highly. Uh, sure, I, I kind of wish I had gotten it, and I should get the uh, 14 to 24. 
so don't rip on me for that. But uh, this was a little cheaper. It takes filters, which I use all the time. And uh, I use it at, at um, 16 millimeters all the time. And it's a great lens. It's a specific lens. It's an ultra wide angle lens. But I'll tell you something, uh, you got to have an ultra wide angle in your bag. And if you don't, and you don't know how to use it, I recommend try and figure out how to use it and start doing it because landscapes, everything, and, and even shots, so, you know, you put something in right in the foreground, you get this right up to it, and uh, you have some great background. It's a tremendous effect, and people love it, and uh, it, it really accounts for a lot of my photography. So, what else is in the bag? I got a, a rocket blower, which I recommend everybody get a rocket blower. Um, I've got my rag. <laughs> this is what I use to clean my B&W filters, my hundred plus dollar filters. That's what I use, but I don't use, um, I don't use uh, the fancy papers or the fluid. I just go <gasps> add a little rub and it works great. So, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff else in my bag, but right now I'm gonna leave it at that. And uh, hopefully you'll join me again. Put these back on. Rich Baum Photography, Sacramento, California, for all your event and uh, portrait wedding, you know, all your needs. Uh, Rich Baum, R I C H B A U M dot smugmug, S M U G M U G dot com. Give me a call, look me up. Uh, I'll do your work. Uh, I'm fast. Great turnaround, and I like to have fun. And I shoot kids. Love those kids. See you later. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha.